Hello and welcome once again to module number 14. Now you see my display is ready and some gibberish is actually being displayed but I want to have a control in what is being displayed. For that what I need to do is I need to access the controller, the WFN controller and there is a app that is there which we are going to use. It is called LED Art App. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. So what I'm going to do is one by one, how do we install this app and with the app, we also need some kind of synchronization of the controller and the display, you know, because then only exact control on the display will come. So uh, you can see on the screen, I'm going to do on my mobile right now. So we go to the play store and we, uh, we search for the LED art. So you'll see something like this LED written L in the red, E in the yellow and D is green. So then you do the installation. It is about 74 MB of space that it is required. This is only one time by the way. So once you uh, do the installation of app and then you synchronize your controller with the screen, then you can install it. It's only once that you need this. Right now it is uh, downloading the app on my uh, mobile phone. What I'm going to do is with this mobile phone app, I'm going to connect with the my controller. Remember, my controller is called HDWF1 and the WF is Wi-Fi. So the controller is Wi-Fi enabled and with my mobile, I can connect to the controller and feed the information, synchronize the LED with the controller so that I can control the display. That is the whole purpose of the LED art app that we are going to install. Well, after this, you need one more laptop because this LED art display will actually give the static information. So if you want to write, uh, let's say energy Suraj, you will be able to do that on the display. But right now, our purpose is to make sure there's a countdown, that configuration of countdown clock is not done properly through this app and therefore, uh, we have figured out uh, that there is another software with that software through your laptop you will be able to do the countdown installation also. So in this module what we are going to see is how do we synchronize the screen with the controller through the help of LED art app it is almost done. Okay so it is already uh, done I am going to open this. You see here LED art app and I need to give the permission. So uh, I am allowing this, it will not go without this and uh, then we go to the enter app. We enter the app, there is no screen right now, we need to synchronize, so we go to the new display. Now it is ready to find a device and uh, Wi-Fi is on on my and this controller Wi-Fi is also on, so I am going to find the device, it is searching for the new device and you see here out of many it has found one WF1. Now this number after WF1 underscore there are various numbers so different people may find different number but you will find the device called WF1. We are going to connect to the WF1. Now it is asking for the password. Now by default the password is 8 times 8 okay remember 8 times 8 so I am going to enter 8 times 8 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and just let me see if it, everything is correct, okay, 8 times 8, then I am going to connect, it is connecting to the Wi-Fi, always connect, I am giving the permission and now you can see it is connected without internet, great. So uh, let me go back to the screen, okay, so on this app, now app has identified this WF1 as a controller I need to add this and we come to this screen. There are various parameters, two parameters are width and height. Remember how many LEDs are there in our, we have 96, so I am going to edit this and I am going to make it 96 and there are not 32, we have height is 16. So what does it mean? That in case if your configuration is series and parallel of many PTNs, you can make a bigger screen and you can use appropriate. So I have entered there, then I go to the next. Now you can see 19 and 16 is being displayed here. All right, I say OK. Now it is coming to this screen and it is saying, please enter what you want to see. 
right now it says please enter let me enter energy swaraj so energy swaraj should actually display so i am entering energy swaraj okay okay so now here on the screen it says energy and it will come to the swaraj so now uh, basically this we have programmed this on the app now we have to send send it to whom send it to the controller so we are sending this so it is asking to reset the password i am going to make it it has to be eight digit so esf 1 2 3 4 5 6 sf 1 2 3 4 5 6 confirm the changes i have So now because the password has changed, I need to go to the find device again because password has changed. It has found the device again WF1, I go to the WF1 and it is asking me the password. Remember last time the default password was 8 times 8, now password has changed. It is ESF 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let me check. So, it may ask you to reconfigure the password. You can do that. Make sure that you remember. Now, it is connected without internet. All right. I go back. Okay. So, this is asked to uh, reset the password. All right. So, what I am doing is I am trying to send this data and it says send successful. Program send is successful, but it is not actually displaying on the screen. What does it mean that it is not actually the controller is not synchronized with the screen. So what we have to do is we have to go back here and I have to go to device and then there is a hardware. So I need to do the synchronization process. So there is a hardware. It has all these features, you know, there are various parameters and there's some rates have to be fixed properly so that whatever is there you're feeding in, in your app should actually display. Now what it will do is we can do the manual configuration or auto recognition. So I am putting auto recognition. What it is going to do, it has 108 programs. So this 108 programs it is going to check one by one. Now it is checking. And when there is a proper synchronization between the controller and the screen, then information that we have fed, what we have fed, energy swaraj, will appear uh, on this screen. So from our experience, we have done this experiment. We have figured out that right now it is, you know, it is 6 out of 108th combination. It is 7. So, somewhere around 35 to 40, it will show energy Swaraj. Whenever it shows that, we have to stop at that point. So, you have to keep your eye on when we go to that number. As soon as energy Swaraj appears on the screen, you have to stop it, which means at that point, your controller is perfectly synchronized with the screen. If you want to uh, put a basic information, some name or some ruling thing, then this is good enough. But we want a countdown, right? So, continuous update of the screen is required and that's why we need another software. So, right now it is 22 different combinations are being displayed and just wait for 30 and then we have to be vigilant that as soon as energy Swaraj appears, we stop it. In some case, there is no display does not mean nothing is happening. So now it is 30 around somewhere this particular combination will be 31 okay anytime soon we should now expect the synchronization okay, that is around this time it does it I hope it will happen again yes stop right so you see energy and Swaraj so at the channel number at the combination number 38 it is synchronized and you see energy Swaraj is now being displayed. Okay, so that's it. In this, what we have learned is how we synchronize the screen with the controller so that you can display what you want to do it. So now that synchronization is done, energy Swaraj is being displayed. You can try any other word. You can try your name, your organization's name, anything. But this is this is done. So the whole purpose of this is how to install the LED Art app. In case if it asks to reset the password, you do that. You send basic information from the app to the controller and you will see that the, though it is successful sent, but it does not display, which means you have to go to the device and hardware and uh, synchronize.
and at around 38 combination, 38th combination between 35 to 40, it will synchronize. As soon as it does that, place press a stop and your job is done. So all right, that's it in this particular module. I hope uh, you're enjoying the new knowledge and skill that you're learning, which is not only good for the climate clock, but it can be useful for many other places. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. And in the next module, we are going to learn how to connect your climate clock with the laptop so that you can actually configure it and, and put the countdown. And that will be the step that we are all looking for to configure our LED display for the LED climate clock. So thank you very much and stay tuned. We'll see in the next module.